Hey dolls! So it's been quite a while since I've done this video if I've ever done this video. Today I'm going to share with you guys what is in my makeup bag. Now this applies to makeup that I use every day and makeup that I use when I travel. So this kind of gives you guys an insight as to what I put on my face all the time whether I am at home or not at home. For starters, this is my makeup bag. This is one of the Jeffree Star vegan leather uh, giant makeup case bags. It holds a lot, so prepare to get comfy because we are going to go through this video and it might... Mm -mm -mm, not today. It might take a while, so here we go. So opening the bag up, this is what you see initially. Uh, it's very crowded, but then again, mostly what's in here is just my brushes. But yeah, there you go. We're gonna dive right in now, I guess. So you will see that there are a lot of products in here. Some of these I don't use every day. Some of these I do use every day. And sometimes I use all of them <laughs> in one day. That's the beauty of makeup is you can put on however much or however little you want and just have fun with it. The first thing that you guys saw in there is my little brush bag, my little brush pouch. Uh, this is from the Little Twin Stars Sugar Pill Collection, and it is very, very dirty. It gets dirty very, very quickly because I do not wash my brushes every single day. So I do tend to put dirty brushes back in here, especially if I'm on vacation or I am out of town. I don't have time to clean my brushes when I'm out of town. So it does get dirty pretty quickly. So I just have this designated little carrying case for all of my brushes. I'm not going to go through and show you guys all my brushes mainly because they're filthy, but I will show you guys. These are not all the brushes that I use every single day on my face. Good grief. But, um, I have uh, BH Cosmetics ones that I absolutely love, and I have Morphe ones, and I just kind of use a combination of the two. So there are those. Okay, uh, the next thing I have all the time in my makeup bag, whether I am at home or I am traveling, is a washcloth. Washcloths are great because you can either use them to wash your face when you're not home. I like to use my own washcloths on my face because I'm not quite sure when I go out to hotels or Airbnbs what detergent are used on their towels and I don't want my face to break out like crazy especially if I'm on vacation so I tend to always bring my own washcloths because it's what I'm used to. Also washcloths are great for spot cleaning your brushes. For example I also have a small little spray bottle of rubbing alcohol and what I like to do is kind of spray like a spot on the towel and I will take one of my brushes and just kind of swirl it around. That will get off like the immediate product. It's not really a deep clean but it is a quick fix especially if you are out of town and you need to sanitize your brushes to use on a friend or family member or anything like that. So washcloths are definitely very very handy. I'm just gonna go in kind of a weird order here. I'm just gonna show you everything that's in this pouch first and then I'll show you the these back two pouches and then I'll show you the whole big shebang up front. So in the back little zipper pouch I have some makeup remover wipes. Again, I don't want to use wipes that are at a different hotel or something that I've never used before because I don't want no breakouts. So I use my own and bring my own Neutrogena makeup wipes. I'm so happy that they started making these little individual single use little prepackaged ones that you can take on trips. These are my go-to makeup wipes and I'm so happy that they came out with these. You can get these at Ulta and other places that sell the Neutrogena face wipes. I absolutely love these. Then up here I have two glitters. Sometimes I use glitter on my eyes, sometimes I use it in my hair, sometimes I use it on my cheeks for highlight. I just have two in here. I have a white one and this is from Wear Beauty. You can get both of these at Shop wearbeauty.com. This one is in the shade confetti and it is just a white. So this is the one that I will use on my cheeks or my inner corners just for an extra little added pop to my highlight. And then this one is in the shade Mermaid Scales. And as you can see, this one is just an iridescent purpley pink, which is so gorgeous. 
So I do have both of those. And then to apply the glitter, you of course need some sort of like glitter glue, glitter adhesive for your eyes. Um, I did just want to show you these two. I don't usually carry these two with me, but I will alternate between the two. I find that they're very similar. Uh, this one is the glitter glue from Wear Beauty. So it's made to go with those. And with this one, it has a little kind of applicator with it, like a little doe foot. But there is also this NYX Glitter Primer, which comes in just a little squeezy tube. Sometimes I'll just squeeze this on the back of my hand, take a little brush, apply it, let it dry down just a little, and then pack the glitter on top. So I have both of those. I just wanted to show both of these so there's like alternatives. Like I said, I don't usually carry both of them. I have two liquid liners. I don't wear liquid liner a lot, but I do like to carry it with me just in case. Um, I have to like put it on top of my lash band to kind of blend my lashes or anything like that. I don't typically do winged liner a lot anymore, which you guys have probably noticed. But when I do do liquid liner, um, I'll show you guys both of these. This is the Candy Johnson Too Faced I Want Candy Candy Liner. And this one has a very unique brush on it. I find that I really do enjoy this one, but it kind of takes some patience and trial and error to get used to it. My favorite go-to liquid liner that has been for like ever, this you can actually get at Dollar Tree, and it is the LA Colors Liquid Liner. I just love this thing so much. The tip is so, so fine and precise. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it in the camera, but I just love this so much. You can really just get in there and make your wing flawless, and it's just awesome. Those are the two liquid liners that I do carry. And then the last thing in that top compartment is this AOA POW lighter, and this is basically like a loose highlighter pigment. This is Oh, amazing. I'm not going to show it too crazy. I will go ahead and do a little swatch. I did feature this in one of my favorites videos and it is just so pretty. I don't even know if you can really see it, but it just, it, it has like refined glitter in it and it just like adds a pop to your highlighter. Like that's why it's called a pow lighter because it's just like pow, like in your face. It's so beautiful. I got it all over the place, but you can kind of see like it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love this. And this one is in the color or the shade Galactic. And you can get these on shopmissa.com. These are literally only a dollar. Like, I am obsessed with this. It's only a dollar. It's so good. So, moving on to the next two pouches. Again, with a dollar. Honestly, you guys... This is like the foundation that I've been using. I also mentioned this in a previous favorites video. This is actually AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream in the shade Fair. And I got this also off of shopmissa.com. I have since repurchased five of these because they're only a dollar. Like, hello. But it is literally just a tinted BB cream. So it doesn't feel as heavy when it goes on. But yet it's very nice coverage. Like you guys can see I have this friend coming in right here and a couple down here and it just covers so nicely and so beautifully and it just feels so good on my skin. I love this stuff. And then another thing that is in that section that is also Shop Miss A. This is another studio, AOA studio. This is the Sculpt FX Contour Stick and this is in Fawn. And as you can see, this one's almost dead. I did repurchase five more of these as well because, hello, five of each, that's only $10. Like, I love this so much. I use it all the time. It's perfect shade for me because I am so pale. The Fawn shade is not too dark. I really, really love it. I love how I can just draw something on my face, blend it in with my beauty blender, and call it a day. I also love that it is, like, retractable, so you don't have to sharpen it all the time. That is awesome. And then the last thing in that pouch along with just some q-tips. I do just throw some q-tips in there for touch-ups or whatever. Uh, I also tend to bounce between this little BB cream foundation and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Finish in the shade Fair Porcelain. I'm either porcelain or fair porcelain. 
really just all depends on the day that I'm having. This is like my favorite drugstore foundation of all time. I love it so much. I always find myself going back to it. Even though I do have dry skin, I prefer the matte and poreless finish rather than the dewy and smooth finish. For whatever reason, it just the dewy and smooth finish just does not work for me and it's weird because I do have dry skin so it's strange and I have said this before if you do have dry skin and you've tried the dewy and smooth finish and you don't like it try the matte and poreless finish you might like it then in that other pouch along with the alcohol little spritzer that I have I also have this is the max mac fix plus bottle but i actually diy and make my own setting spray that i just keep refilling this little guy with it's so much more affordable and it does just the same thing and since you're making it yourself you can measure out the ingredients according to your skin type which i love so if you guys want the recipe on how to make your own mac fix plus i will link the video in the description box below it is so good so amazing absolutely recommend okay now on to the big mess of the pocket i have my glam glow glow starter this is just a moisturizer that is kind of like illuminating so it's really nice to use either as a primer or just when you go to bed at night or in the morning when you wake up or just as foundation it has a little glow to it which is very nice on the skin especially during the summer months when maybe you don't want to layer on so much thick foundation or makeup love this stuff it's a must-have when i go on vacation and stuff i have two eyeshadow palettes these are the two that i travel with that are that i love that are my tried and true these are so 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 good however when i am at home i gotta have my james charles palette this just does not fit in my makeup bag so i don't travel with it i don't take it anywhere with me but i do use this i used it completely on my eyeballs today well not on my actual eyeballs but you guys know what i mean so good <laughs> so good literally love <laughs> literally <laughs> wow okay so i love this so much I use it all the time every day when i'm at home but when i am traveling or when i want to have like a specific look not that i can't achieve it with the james charles palette i love these two because they are a lot more compact i can travel with them and these are just both amazing these are both the dose of colors palettes this one is the ice cream palette and this one is the marvelous mauves so you guys know that i love wearing like mauvey purples on my eyes all the time i got this palette literally less than six months ago i want to say and look at this like i use this thing all the time it is so good i love it because it's one palette for a whole eye look it's just so compact easy i can throw this look on my eyes and literally it will match practically every outfit that i own so it's very universal and very easy especially when traveling i also have this little baby as you can see she has been very well loved as well i love this shade right here and i love to use this shade as a pop of color under my eyes sometimes so i definitely love to bring this one as well just for the extra little color pops depending on the outfit that i'm wearing so if i'm wearing purple maybe i'll incorporate the purple a little bit more into the mauves or if i'm wearing mint or blue i'll kind of incorporate that one a little bit more and i just love this palette so much so those are my two like go-to travel palettes all the time no matter what these two go with me everywhere sometimes i'll throw in a third palette if i want to or if i'm going to be gone a long time or if i want to do a certain specific makeup look while I'm out but usually these are my two go-to's especially even at home when I'm doing my makeup all the time but like I said I do use the James Charles palette quite a bit okay moving on to a face I guess we'll just go ahead and show I did show my contour stick but I also have this little physicians physicians formula bronzer this thing smells like pina colada or something like it's really nice as you can see there is pan on that one too i just do this um, sometimes by itself or over top of the contour stick then another item that we have hit pan on this is a color pop blush and i believe this one is in the shade thumper i could be mistaken but it is just a very barbie pink shade i do wear it 
all the time practically every single day so that's why it's hits pan already I do need to replace this soon as well and on to highlighters you guys did already see that AOA studio one the loose pow lighter but for my highlighters I tend to go towards either of these. Uh, this one is the Glam Glow Highlighter Palette and I mainly just dip into both of these and kind of blend them together because I am so pale I can't really touch the darker shade. So I'm going to use this up and then once I'm done with it I'm going to give this to somebody who can actually use this one because as you can see haven't even touched that shade but yeah i do love this the packaging obviously is so cute as well and it just feels so nice very compact and then also i have my jeffree star cosmetics in ice cold i am waiting for them to restock this because this is the second one i have almost gone through these things are huge no joke and absolutely beautiful this is one of the only highlighters that i have found that is like white enough for me because I am so pale and I just love this and again I like to pair like this one with the AOA studio on top just gives it a little bit of an extra finish which is awesome so there is that and now I guess I will move on to oh I forgot I have my MAC concealer this is the NC 15 studio finish concealer this is just the one that I use I've tried other concealers but this is the one that I always find myself going back to um, it's just like a little pot. Looks like that. I don't know. I can't really say anything else about it. It covers nicely. That's about it. Now, I guess, moving on to brows. I have two, three brow products that sometimes I will alternate between. Sometimes I will use my Beauty Bakery Brownies in the shade Taupe. And I'll just use this with like an angled brush and do it that way, just like a pomade. Or I just got this literally this is my first time using it so if my brows look a little botched um, that is why I wanted to get something other than the pomade that I could just kind of like pencil on and it would look a little bit more natural or a little bit more fluffy rather I have tried the Anastasia brow whiz and I love it but it's a little bit pricey especially for like a little tiny pencil so I found this Maybelline total temptation brow definer and I actually really really like the end on this I don't know if you'll be able to see this but it is like shaped a really cool way kind of like a diamond and I really like it it is retractable as well so it's very easy to use and then on the end it has this different shaped spoolie so you can really like get in there and coat the product through all of the hairs which I love because these little bristles are super close together so you can really get in there again this is my first time using it so I'm not sure if I'm like in love with it but I do see myself actually finishing this up. I don't hate it at all. This one is in the shade Soft Brown. And then also along with that, I do tend to always use, regardless if it is with the pomade or the pencil or whatever I'm using on my brows, the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And this one is in Brunette. And it is literally what it says it is, just tinted brow gel and I just set my little hairs in place with this guy and I love it I love this stuff all the time especially if I'm having just a very subtle laid-back makeup day and I just throw on some lashes and some brows and go out um, I love to just do a quick coat of this on my brows because my brows are naturally blonde um, I do dye them however but I like to use this to just kind of define them a little bit before I'm gonna like run out to the grocery store or something so love this okay I got quite a few more things to go here I also have this Too Faced shadow insurance eye primer let's be honest 99.9% .9 of the time I don't even use eye primer I just put my foundation on my on my lid and then I lay down like a base shade that's like white or nude. I rarely ever use this but I do have it and sometimes I do decide to just use it. So there's that. Oh I also forgot I do have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser that I like to use as a primer or sometimes even by itself like I said on really light makeup days. This works great. I really enjoy it so I have that. 
Then for eyeliner, I love these NYX Faux Whites. I love that these come in such pastel colors because like I said, sometimes I like to do a pop of color on my under eye. And so whatever I'm doing as a pop of color on my under eye, I have this in yellow, pink, blue, and purple because those are usually the ones that I do. But I usually always just have my blue and purple. That's literally how pastel and beautiful they are when they come out. So gorgeous. So easy to use. These, however, you do have to sharpen. So I forgot to mention that I do usually carry my sharpener in here if I'm going to be gone for multiple days or whatever. But yeah, these are great. I love them just on my waterline. So beautiful. It's, it's also a little bit less harsh than having like a white uh, waterline. So love those. And then um, I also have for my waterline and my tight line, I used to always use, and I still do all the time, use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. If I can open this, oh my lanta. This is a brand new one. I have another one in my purse that I like to use for touch-ups and stuff, but um, I love this stuff. I use it on my waterline and my tight line when I line up above by my lash line love this. You can also use it as wing liner. I find that it transfers a lot because I do have hooded eyelids, so I don't tend to use it for that. But I just recently got, along with this brow pencil, I just got the Maybelline uh, Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. And I used this for the first time today. And again, this is another like retractable one. So you just twist it up to get more product. You don't have to sharpen it, which I love. And I really like it so far. I am obsessed with it. I used it on my tight line and my waterline. And it's very, very good. So I think I might have to get another one of these to keep in my purse as well. Because I really do like it. Uh, we have a lash curler. This is just a cannot grab anything oh my gosh this is just a Revlon one nothing special and then the mascara that I use I always get questions on what mascara and what lashes I wear which I'll show you guys in a second but the mascara I use is actually the essence lash princess false lash effect mascara you can get this at Ulta and I am obsessed with this mascara it's super cheap and it's so good like I didn't think it was gonna be good because it was so cheap and it's the essence brand so I wasn't quite sure but I tried it and I absolutely fell in love with it and I have not stopped using it since and this is the green one I know that they have other ones that are like purple and maybe a blue one but this is the one that has the green detail on the bottle the purple one is not as good I hate the brush that is in the purple one I just love this so much. It is not waterproof or anything, so you might experience some smudging. I always set my under eyes and I have dry skin, so I don't have a problem with the smudging or uh, flaking, but some people might. But I am absolutely in love with this mascara, and I highly recommend you to try it if you never have before. Super affordable. Even if you hate it, you're only throwing away a couple dollars rather than, like, a lot. So, yeah, definitely super, super good. Love it. Then for my lashes, I have been obsessed with the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push Up Collection. These all have super cute names that have to do with like bras and stuff or lingerie. Uh, I love the set that is the camisole set. Uh, it is super dramatic, super bold. It's like as if two or three of these sets were layered on top of each other. Just super, super full, super voluminous. Love them. But these are the ones that I'm wearing right now that I wear all the time. They are so comfortable. This one pair of lashes can literally last me two to three months if I take care of them properly, even with wearing them every single day. Like these lashes are so good. I am in love with them. I get mine at Walgreens, but I think they sell them at Walmart and stuff too. But these are the ones called Teddy. And I just love how fluttery they are. And they're just so 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 good I am obsessed with these I never ever use the glue that comes with them I always use my own lash glue and it is always duo and it is the dark tone one this is the one that dries down black they also have one that dries down clear but I prefer the black one because I always line my water line and my tight line anyway so I always love the black one but yeah Teddy in the triple push-up collection uh, so 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 good love these they last forever if you take care of them properly 
amazing. Obsessed. Okay, then we have a beauty blender, obviously. I should have showed this with my brushes, but I have a little beauty blender. This, I will have to admit, is not the actual beauty blender. This is from Beauty Bakery. They sell a little pack of them for like six for around $18, which is amazing. And in my personal experience, these are super comparable. They work just as good, if not maybe better sometimes. Uh, I don't want to diss on the true beauty blender that are amazing. I love them so much, but I really, really do enjoy the beauty bakery ones. So if you're looking for beauty blenders, but you don't have the budget for them, uh, check out beauty bakery because these ones are great and you get like six for literally the price of half of one. Okay, now for lips, I just have five liquid lips in here. Sometimes I'll carry like a little chapstick or moisturizer with me, uh, but I always wear, I always wear, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm wearing right now, I always get questions on what color this is, and what this is is actually a combo, and this is the Dose of Colors, so same brand as the eyeshadow palette, and this is in the shade Rosebud. This is my number one go-to matte liquid lip. If you guys have seen my favorites videos or anything like that, you'll know that I have repurchased thing, this thing like 10 times because I go through it all the time. I wear it almost every single day. I just love how it complements like my face and my hair and it just looks so good on me so I really do enjoy this one and lately and more recently over the past year or so I have been doing like a little bit in the center of Anastasia's milkshake and this together just mm, it looks so like mm, so good I'm absolutely in love with this and then the other three liquid lips that I carry with me that sometimes I'll alternate between is the Beauty Bakery. Their liquid lips are no joke. Like literally if you want lips that do not come off, check out Beauty Bakery. They're so good. This is in the shade Honey and it's just like a really pretty nude. Then I have Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star. Love this one, a very good nude as well. And then for a pop of pink, I have the Little Twin Stars Sugar Pill Collection, and this is the La La Matte Liquid Lip. And it has like sparkles in it when it dries down, so it's very, very beautiful. I love this one, it's such a hot pink shade, and it complements my hair pretty well. So with that being said, that is everything in my makeup bag. Like I said, this is basically what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, whether I'm at home or on vacation or on a trip or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what your favorite product is that I showed in this video. What is your go-to item that you have to have whenever you travel that you have to have in your makeup bag? And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because my camera battery is flashing at me and with that being said I will talk to you all next time so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you okay